Hey guys, Lindsay Bowden here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a PDF worksheet that you found online, or maybe you created it, or maybe you bought it, and turn it into a digital worksheet that you can assign on Google Classroom. So let me pull up a worksheet that I have made here. And this is just an example. Most worksheets are in PDF form when you find them online or when you purchase them. So this is actually a complete lesson that I made. So it has notes and worksheets. So I just want this one worksheet and I want to put it into Google Slides. So I'm going to tell you how to do that. So it depends on the settings of the PDF. So if you bought it on Teachers Pay Teachers, it's a possibility that they will not allow you to convert it into images. So if that's the case, you want to always reach out to them, make sure you are abiding by the terms of use and don't violate their terms of use. But I would say most buyers, myself included, will allow you to put it on a password protected website like Google Classroom and that wouldn't violate the terms of use. Okay, so the first thing that you can try is in Adobe Reader, which is what opens up when you have a, a PDF, you can export to image. Now, I actually have Acrobat Pro. That's a paid version, um, but the free version is Adobe Reader. So you can try this first. So I just went to export to a JPEG, which is a picture, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. And once I do that, I'm going to delete the ones that I don't need. I just want that one worksheet. So I don't want to have all these. I just want this one. I'm going to open it up, make sure that's the right one. Yep. So then you're good to go. If that does not work, then remember, abide by the terms of use. But you can go to smallpdf.com. And you can click on PDF to JPEG. You can choose the file. It will upload it for you. You want to convert entire pages. This is for the pro version only. You don't need that. You can just do the free version. Sometimes it does take a little while, but once you have that done, you can either download the entire document or you can just download one. So I just want this one worksheet which is here so I'm going to press the little arrow again it might be a little bit slow but while that is loading let's go ahead and look at Google Slides so I'm going to go to Google Slides here and just open up a blank slide and I'm going to first get rid of these text boxes all right, now Google Slides is automatically going to be in a widescreen view. You want to change it to the same size as your worksheet, which is normally 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to go to File, Page Setup. See, it's widescreen 16 by 9. You want it to be custom 8.5 by 11. All right, next you want to insert that picture as the background of your slide. So this picture is done now. I'm going to open it up. So I'm just going to move it to my desktop. That way I know where it is. So now I just have two different pictures. They're the same picture. I just got them with different methods, but choose one of those. And you're going to go to background, choose image. And I'm just going to drag and drop the image. Done. And now you can't move it. Okay, now the reason I do it this way and I don't just take a screenshot is because if you take a screenshot, it might not be very clear, it might be blurry, and this one is a lot more clear and students can read the problems. Okay, so once you have that done, I'm going to title this Solving Equations Worksheet, and I'm going to insert text boxes onto each problem, and I just went here, or you can go to Insert text box and I'm going to type for my students because I want them to know for sure what to do type answer no, number one here and you can make it bigger if you want you can center it for them um, you can put a, a line around the text box so it's a color a different color you can make it thicker so that they for sure see this is where I type my answer and then you can duplicate that command D or control D and you can just change the numbers each time. And I would do that all the way down so that they know they're supposed to type the answer for each question in the box. That just makes grading for you a whole lot easier. So I'm not going to do them all, but you get the picture. You would go all the way down. 
Okay, so once you have that done, then you're going to go to your Google Classroom. And I have it open right here. And you're going to click the, the class period that you want. I'm in second period. I'm going to go to Classwork, Create Assignment. I'm going to call this Solving Equations Worksheet. And then you would type instructions here. So if it's a worksheet that needs work, like I need to see students work, I usually add attach a picture of your work that you take with your phone. Most students will know how to do this. I would say probably 99%. Um, and pretty much any phone takes a picture. If, if, and you can add a little thing. If you can't, that's okay. Show me your work in a different way. Um, and then make sure to show all work, whatever instructions you want. And then you're going to go to Add, Google Drive. And it should be in your Recents because you just made this. So under Recents, it's right here. And you want to make sure that you click make a copy for each student. That's very important. And then you go over here and assign a due date and then assign. All right, so I'm going to show you what it looks like on the student's end. So for a student, this is a student view. Let me make sure that assigned. Okay, so now it's there. So I'm going to refresh this. So I see it. All right, so now they see this. I posted a new assignment. So what they're going to do is click on it right here. All right, and they can type in their answer, x equals 3, x equals 6, and then go all the way down. And then when they're done, they don't need to do anything else in this presentation. They go back to the previous tab up here. So you see it automatically open a new tab for me. They go back. They can add in their picture right here, so add file. If they have a picture, they can just put it on their desktop and drag and drop it. And students will most likely know how to do this. They take a picture of their work with their phone. They can email it to themselves or airdrop it to themselves, and it will be on their desktop. They can drag and drop the work here. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Let's pretend this is their work. They would drag and drop it as a picture and upload it. So this is their worksheet, this is their work, turn in, turn in. And I'm going to show you one last thing, how it looks on your end once they turn it in. So back to the assignment. So you can see one person has turned it in. You can click on it. Then you can click on the assignment. And this is the great thing about Google Classroom. So you're not getting a thousand emails with the different work and pictures of the work. It's all right there together. So this is their assignment. You see, I can see where they typed. And then you can click right below it, and this would be like their work that they uploaded. You can add comments here, like um, check number five, and only they will see that. And then you can return it to them, and then they'll see your comments. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you want more strategies for making math worksheets or making worksheets digital, then you need to get my free cheat sheet. You can go to lindsaybowden.com forward slash cheat sheet.